Hey everyone, let's talk about something that matters to all of us, bone health. Did you know your skeleton is constantly being rebuilt? So much so that every 10 years, you basically have a whole new skeleton. So how can you keep your bones strong and healthy now and throughout life? Exercise is one of the best ways to strengthen bones. Activities like walking, dancing, or climbing stairs put just enough stress on your bones to tell your body to grow more. Resistance training is also important. Think push-ups, squats, or lifting weights. These exercises pull on your bones, which encourages them to grow and rebuild. Balance exercises make you less likely to fall, which protects your bones from injuries. Bones also need the right nutrients to stay strong. Calcium gives bones their strength. Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium and supports bone growth. Protein builds the collagen that gives bones their shape and flexibility. It's a really cool thing that our bodies continue to regrow bone throughout life. But after age 50 or after menopause, bones start breaking down faster than they regrow. Health conditions, certain medications, genetics, and lifestyle habits can also speed up bone loss. Why does this matter? Because if bone loss happens too quickly, it can lead to osteoporosis, a lifelong chronic condition that can cause painful and disabling bone breaks. Older women with smaller body frames have a higher risk of osteoporosis, but anyone can develop osteoporosis or its precursor, osteopenia. Catching bone loss early allows for treatment, monitoring, and lifestyle changes that can prevent fractures. Bone loss often happens silently and causes no symptoms. Here's what you can do to help catch it early. Talk to your clinician about your osteoporosis risk factors. Make sure they know your family and health history as well as all of the medications you take. Ask them if you should take Ask them if you should get a DEXA scan, a test that measures bone mineral density. General recommendations are that women 65 and older and men over 70 get an initial DEXA screening. But it's good to talk to your clinician earlier, especially in the years leading up to menopause or if you have any significant health history such as cancer or an autoimmune condition. Remember, bone health matters for everyone. Stay strong, stay supported, and take steps now to protect your bones for life.